This is a glass bottle for dispensing motor oil. It used to belong to my grandpa, who probably had it since the 1920s, so it's almost a hundred years old. It's not especially rare. In fact, he had two of them. Now I'd like to clean them up and put them on display in my home. It definitely has a vintage look with decades worth of grime and back of the garage patina, but I don't want 70 year old oil staining my shelves, so I'll clean it up. I think that the lid may be galvanized steel, but it was probably never going to rust anyway since it's always had a layer or two of oil on it. I don't think plastic was even around yet when this was made, and I like the way instructions are molded into the glass bottle. My grandpa used masking tape to identify what type of oil was inside, but now I have a different idea. I'll use the internet and my printer to recreate a vintage label from the 1930s. To get the bottle ready, I'll use Dawn dishwashing soap. If it's good enough to clean baby seals after the Exxon Valdez oil spill, then it's good enough for me. These are just images from Google that I scaled to fit the available space on the bottle. After printing, I sprayed them with a clear finish to give some protection and a mild sheen, some careful cutting and some spray adhesive, and pretty soon I'll be done. This is a pretty nice label that I think is a scan of a sign that's being sold on eBay. It has a good vintage look, but when I placed it on the bottle, it just looked a little too small. I like the color, but I think I'm going to go with something else that's rectangular instead of a circle. I printed out two complete sheets of these uh, labels and I sprayed both just in case I made any mistakes along the way. This Sinclair label should be fine. It's a little easier to cut than a circle. It doesn't look as aged as that Castrol label, but I think it'll be fine. This is a can of Elmer's spray adhesive that has been around my house for years. Somehow, it still works. And I just spray the back of each label pretty evenly. And then before it has a chance to dry, I press it into place onto the glass. I guess I could have used self-adhesive labels, but I'm not sure how that clear Rust-Oleum spray would have reacted with the uh, with the adhesive on the back of those full sheet labels. So regular printer paper and some spray adhesive will do the same job. Clear coat on the printer paper made them just a little bit translucent, and I like the way that you can see from behind the colors of the front of the label. I think that's maybe something that you could have seen back in the day. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.
Thank you.